What's going on people? I'm Marcus B Gaming and this one is all about how to get the Xenophage Exotic Machine Gun. Thank you for clicking and thanks to the sub crew. If you like quick and clean D2 content, press the red start button along with the bell. Let's go. To start it off, you need a chest from Eris' secret spot. You can take the portal from Sanctuary on the moon. Or if it's not there, you can take this route from where you will go to the Scarlet Keep in Sorrow's Harbor. You would take the left at the beginning and the right in the higher opening as soon as you enter the Enduring Abyss. Just walk a little forward, look up and you'll see it. Make your way to the chest spot. There are four statues you have to activate in a certain order to get the chest you need to pop up. The order is basically an upside down U, starting with the first statue on your right. Grab the quest, and on to the next. In the Emerge from Darkness step, go into the smaller building attached to the left of this lookout tower. Grab the Great Ball of Fire, and now you gotta quickly make your way around the map, and use this to light six nest looking torches. First is in the building, second is outside of the building, go towards the fork, and turn left. Third, turn around and look for the small building with a yellow wall. Fourth, exit this building and go towards the tower. You'll find it on a beam you should see from the roof. Fifth is on top of another small structure to the left of the tower. And sixth, on top of the alien spaceship type of building. A waypoint pops up and you gotta go and activate it. The journey step has you going to all the moon's law sectors. In each, you have to do the puzzles matching all the symbols to a single one. You'll find them at the end of each sector. Shoot the symbols in the following order. For Archer's line, it's top left, bottom left, middle, mid right. In the Sorrows Harbor sector, hit mid left, middle, middle, mid left, mid top, mid bottom, middle, mid right. Over at the helm mouth, shoot top right, mid left, middle, mid bottom, bottom right, bottom right, mid bottom, mid bottom, and finally an anchor of light. Hit bottom left, bottom right, mid top, mid top. Once you Nathan Drake all the chest, you have to go to the Pit of Heresy dungeon. You don't have to finish it, but you do have some steps in there. To get this unlocked, you have to finish this quest line from Eris. It'll ask you to finish activities in the Altars of Sorrow on the Moon. Pretty straightforward. Once you're in the dungeon and you get to this wall of doors you can see from a bridge, look to your upper left for a door with no symbol above it. Use these ledges to get up in there and grab the path's end. Jump towards the bottom middle of the wall to keep moving. You'll get to this room. Looks like a big ass cave. Drop down and head right all along to this plate. Interact and wait for some platforms to float up. Hop across and grab the ball of fire. Turn around and hop back across to the right and then up. Follow the hallway and dunk at a doorway that will have a prompt on your right. Follow the path and you'll get to the special little wizard. To damage it, you'll have to grab a fireball from the middle and dunk that thing at a plate that matches the element in your message at the bottom of the screen. Abyssal equals void. The plate is on the top rear left of the level from the entrance. Thunderous is arc. That's at the bottom front left plate. Fiery is solar, of course, at the bottom rear right. And neutral, which is kinetic, is top front right. Dunk and do that type of damage till she dead. You can now hit up Eris and pick your baby up. If I missed anything, please hit the comments. I hope this helped you out. Shares, likes, and subs help the channel. Feel free to watch more vids. Thanks. I'm out.